Oh my gosh. We are going to be starting this video off today doing something I have never done before. I, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but if it does, that's going to be pretty cool because again, I, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, y'all, so the main objective here today was to catch a new bait that I've never used before. And that would be grass shrimp. It's a really good bait. A lot of people use it around here. And especially for the fish we're gonna be targeting here today. It's gonna be really good, hopefully. So as you guys saw at that last spot, pretty much I have a net. I was trying to scoop the grass shrimp, but I, I had no freaking clue what I was doing, man. I don't think I was in the right spot. I hit up my boy Austin. He's taking me to his uh, little spot over here. He thinks that there might be some over here. Yeah, man, hopefully. There's a net on the other side of there. There you go, buddy. Hey, <laughs> that's not bad. That right there is a grass shrimp. Yeah, let me get a scoop real quick. Let me show you how it's done. See that scoop? Oh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't want all that, dude. No, just swish it out in the water. Yeah, I got any? Yo, that water's warm as heck. I don't know if I got any. One more attempt here. Like, get along the grass. There you go. There you go. Hey. There we go. Oh, I got a little, is that a killie? A little minnow in there. Dude, let's go. These things are weird looking. Like through there, make the hook point come this way, right out there. And usually use it on like a, a bobber, like a jig or something. All right, y'all. So this is what we got going on right here. It is the white perch run right now. Actually, like a bunch of stuff is running up this creek right now. So this is what we got. We got a little float down to a little split shot down to a tiny little hook. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Then in here, it's a secret weapon, man. A lot of people are going to be using minnows, but I don't think too many people are going to be having these guys. Oh, we got a few minnows in there as well. Okay, shout out again to my boy Austin. It looks like super freaking packed out here. This should be fun, man. Hopefully we can get out some... Some nice fish. Maybe citation perch, maybe. All right, first grass shrimp on here. Let's see what happens. Whew. My buddy's over there. He's killing them on jigs too. So I have to drift this a little bit, catch hopefully a few. Oh, went down right away. How big do they have to be to be a citation for a white perch? Oh, really? There's one. There's one. Right where he said. <laughs> and I don't think it's too big. This is a decent one. Oh, first fish of the day. Nice perch, man. This is sick, man. All right, let me let him go. That was like the second shrimp I put on. First one got destroyed, so I need to cast over here near the bank, sorta. This kind of fishing is so much fun, man. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, these things pull like crazy. <laughs> Holy crap. Jeez. This is fatties, too. Jeez, man. <laughs> Yo, these freaking grass shrimp are killing it, man. Look at that. Second one of the day. That's, I mean, these are all keepers. I think it's eight inches to keep them. And these should all be pretty good like to eat too because they come from the salt water. At a different creek around here, we were catching them a little bit earlier in the season. They had all these red worms in them, but these should all be nice, healthy, ready to spawn. I think they're about to spawn. Let that guy go. I don't know exactly the best way to hook them, but I just kind of got it. I don't, I don't know what that is. I'll hit it. What is that? That's a perch? <laughs> oh my God. He just caught a giant over there. There's one. <laughs> Yo, this is so much fun, dude. It's crazy, though. even the little ones put up a decent fight, man. There we go. That's kind of, I figured out if you hook them a little bit up more. It's kind of hooking them on the table. Sometimes the head was getting just bit off. I don't know if that was just blue or something. Watch this, man. Literally every cast. Oh, right there. Literally every cast that I'm throwing these shrimp out. Oh my gosh. Not a big one. There's been a lot of like not big ones. We got some decent sized ones. And the action is this high. You just like, this is, this is crazy. Dude, I just want to catch a big one, man. Apparently, I mean, a lot of people this year have caught citations so far. It's really uh, my goal here for the rest of the day is to catch 
just like a big fat jumbo perch. <sighs> Cannot go a day. I was like, yo, when I pulled this guy up, I was like, what the heck? It's just, it's the curse continues, man. Cannot go one fishing session without one. A little bluegill. Some guy right there. Well, I never caught something back in my Ooh. life the other day. Oh my gosh. What the heck is that? Is that a perch? Yo, that thing's fighting like crazy. Oh my god. Yo, that's a big one. <laughs> Holy crap, on the marabou jig. These fish are freaking aggressive. Oh yeah, it's definitely a male. Uh, thank, thanks, buddy. Big fat one, though. Oh my gosh. Dude, they are chomping it. Ooh. Oh, it's a blue cat? You might snap that rod. You wanna? Yeah, you could do that. Nice fish, dude. No. You want me to? I don't wanna do that. I don't like touching fish. Oh, snap. Yo, that's sick. Pretty cool, man. Little blue cat. These things actually come in from the salt water. <laughs> you want a picture of her or anything? Buddy caught this over here. Dude, it's pretty cool, man. I wanna catch a blue cat like that. That's really cool. I think you said I put up a good fight, didn't you? <laughs> His rod was like doubled over. What'd you catch it on? Oh, cool, dude. So this right here is what's doing the damage, man. White hair jig. There we go. That's a dude. That's a nice fish. Holy crap. They're all pretty nice under this bridge. Oh, I'm on some fishing line, though. Oh, what the heck? What? Yo. I just got my line out and it just... What is going on? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's a nice fish right there. Bro, my line was snagged and I popped it out and it dropped in and this dude just took off with it. That's probably the biggest perch I caught. Ooh. Yo, you think that's 12 inches? That's not 12 inches, right? Probably the biggest one I caught so far though. Dude, that was crazy. Yeah, he's pretty big. God. Whew. So where can you find grass shrimp? Here's like kind of like how to do it. So pretty much it says you can find them near aquatic plants and near submerged or sunken objects like docks, fences, or pipes. That's what I was, you guys saw that's what I was at, the new-ish docks that they kind of put in around this area. Apparently hunting at night for them with a the flashlight is like a good thing to do. And actually probably like the most interesting thing I found from doing a little bit of research on grass shrimp is that you do not need to have them submerged in water. It says you don't need to be in water, survive only kept cool and wet. So that, that is actually pretty interesting. So yeah, man, overall, I think I said this in the beginning of the video, but I have never used grass shrimp before. I've never ever tried to actually scoop them or find them myself. I don't like, I don't even think I've seen a live grass shrimp before. I've seen them at Walmart, you know, that are kind of packed, but definitely, I mean, that was, that was pretty cool. The word on the street is that they are a very good bait. And I mean, we put it to the test. At least the white perch definitely liked it, man. It was almost like every cast I was throwing it in, it was just getting freaking chomped. So netted the shrimp, caught some fish with the shrimp, and then as you guys saw, we whipped out the marabou jig, and it was that white marabou jig was freaking, dude. If you guys watch my channel, man, you guys know this past, uh, this past year, I've been on a hair jig tear. And let me tell you, man, these freaking white perch were just demolishing them. The cool thing about that too, like the whole white perch run, is that I used to live up north in Delaware, and this was like, not really that big of a thing. Around here, like everybody goes crazy over the white perch. Like everybody knows when they're running, everybody, like everybody seems to fish for them. Up north, I'm telling you, it's not even that far away. I, I live 45 minutes up north, upstate. But down here, like in the middle of Delaware, white perch is such a big thing. I think it's so cool, man. So that was like my first ever legit shot at, you know, the whole white perch run where everybody's around. Just lots of people out, everybody having a good time. Not like too many people, but uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I had so much fun. If you guys did enjoy this video today, please go down there and hit that thumbs up button, it really does mean a lot to me and it really, you know, does help out the channel. And also, if you do enjoy my videos but you are not already, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, and if you never ever wanna miss an upload from me, go down there, hit that notification bell. 
That'll make sure YouTube sends you a notification on YouTube every single time I put out a video. Lastly, if you want to stay up to date with me as much as possible, go down there. Follow me on Instagram, man. I've been posting. I've been trying to post a lot of pictures, a lot of stories and stuff. I'm still, I'm still improving on the stories, but I did post a picture recently of a really big fish. I don't know if it's going to be a video yet or not, but... It's the first fish I ever caught that that's that big in a long, long time. So that was a really freaking cool catch. Yeah, man, that's pretty much, I mean, that's going to do it here for this video today. We actually, like, we really did get on some big, fat, white perch. This would have been really good to do a catch and cook out. If you guys have not already seen, like, a bit ago, I guess it was probably a couple weeks ago, I actually did a white perch catch and cook. I'll link that up here. Very aggressive fight, like, a pound for pound. They're one of the hardest fighting fish. I mean, a fish this big, you pulling your rod, man. It's so cool. I just want to take this time to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video. And thank you guys so much for all the support, man. As always, it, it seriously does mean the world to me. All I got to say, man, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You